hey guys welcome back to my channel marina here and it's my pleasure to welcome you to another episode of the series common mistakes immigrants make in this series i share common mistakes that newcomers and in immigrants make in canada and what you can do to avoid those mistakes so if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do well to hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so that you get notified every time i upload a new video there's something for you to learn here so please do well to subscribe and join the family i'm going to go straight into the next common mistake that newcomers make and it is something i choose to call close mindedness close mindedness that's a state of being close to everything so that nothing can seep in nothing can penetrate nothing can influence you i constantly refer to um, migration to canada or whatever country it is you're migrating to as a major life event that requires a lot of adjustment it is tough work physically it is tough work financially it is tough work psychologically and that's the biggest part for me the psychological changes the mental adjustment you have to uh, make to fit into life in this new place where you are i think that's about the hardest part of migration at least for me to properly adjust to life in a new place there would be a lot of learning unlearning and relearning there are some things that you're going to have to learn afresh because it's not familiar where you're coming from there are things you're going to have to unlearn because it's no longer relevant where you are now it may have been relevant where you're coming from but it's not relevant where you are so you will have to unlearn them and there are some things you will have to relearn there are things that you have learned but you learn them the wrong way when you come to places like this you have to learn learn them um, appropriately you would be at a disadvantage if you do not make the necessary adjustments that it will take to adjust to life in a new place like this so in what ways would I say newcomers exhibit some level of close-mindedness the first way I would say is not making enough effort to adjust to the new way of life here personally I think my my voice is loud the tone of my normal talking voice is loud the average Nigerian is loud our voices are typically high-pitched when I'm talking to people who are non-Nigerians I make a conscious effort to number one slow down the way I talk you guys know by now that I'm a very fast talker and reduce the tone of my voice because the average Canadian is calm if you talk like a normal Nigerian to an average Canadian you are going to be yelling at them I'm telling you the truth your voice is where is going to overshadow the conversation it was something I had to learn like how do you talk to people without um, overwhelming them how do you talk to people without um, coming across like you're rude so that's something that I had to relearn how do you communicate in a way that the other person doesn't feel insulted and I don't come across as rude but when I'm talking to my Nigerian guys of course because I know they understand where I'm coming from that's an adjustment that I have had to make so taking note of all those small changes and learning what is appropriate here what is considered appropriate here is one way that you can open your mind those adjustments I would say I've, it has had to apply to everything the way I relate to people just respecting cues how you drive respecting people's time just respecting people generally is something that I had to really really learn all over again it's not like I had no respect or no regard for people back in Nigeria but I'm just saying it there was there's a lot of emphasis on how the next person feels here so it's something that I am constantly conscious of if you are not sensitive or if you're not looking around to see what you can learn or what you can pick up or what you can drop in a place like this you will not realize that you have carried on the same habits that you have always had whether good or bad you have just not changed it nothing has changed so you can live in a place like this for years and look back and see that you haven't learned anything you haven't not nothing has changed it's still like you live in your home country now i'm not asking you to change who you are i'm not asking you to lose your identity as nigerian or your identity as wherever country you come from moving from nigeria here there's a there are some parts of me as nigerian that i had to drop and there are parts of me as Nigerian that will never change so yes there are going to be some things you will drop and there are new things that you will learn that's what I'm saying so retain who you are retain your identity as Nigerian retain your Nigerianness but don't be so closed off to not learn any new thing about how to live in Canada it's very different from what we know in some areas there are very clear distinctions what happens in Nigeria may not apply here so your ability to be able to be open enough to learn those things your ability to be able to humble yourself enough to drop the things that are not working and learn the new things 
it will help you your ability to do those things will really go a long way to helping you another common way that i would say newcomers or immigrants exhibit some level of close-mindedness is isolating yourself i'm trying to put myself in the shoes of people who do this and i'm trying to look at it from their perspective like what is the reason why you come from your home country to this place and decide that you don't need anybody i'm just going to mind my business in a place where you're still trying to find your feet in a place where you're still trying to understand how the system works how do you do that without mixing with people how do you do that by separating yourself from everybody else how exactly do you learn if you are in your own bubble in your own space why do you do that the truth is we all need each other regardless of how long you have lived here everybody needs some kind of community everybody needs some kind of system everybody needs some kind of support at one time or the other so please do not isolate yourself when you isolate yourself you cut yourself off from support you cut yourself off from off from every form of help that can come to you you cut yourself off from networking which is very important in settling in this place or another way that happens is people prefer to only mix with um, people from their same cultures just like me I would come here and all my friends are Nigerians everything I do I will only mix with Nigerians and nobody else I understand that there's some level of safety that comes with uh, being able to mix with people from your country I understand the comfort that can come with relating with people who can 100% relate with your experiences when you say things you understand what you're saying You don't have to um, explain yourself just so that you're understood I understand the safety that comes with that and by all means I think everybody should um, keep some kind of association with people from their countries But if that is all the association that you have if that is the only kind of association that you insist on Again, you're going to be closing yourself off to a lot of other things, a lot of other possibilities that you will never know. You don't know where your next big break is going to come from. You don't know when the, where the next referral is going to come from. You don't know who you're going to meet, who's just going to point you in the direction that you have always been looking for. Sometimes that help may not always come from people of your country. It may come from there, but what if it doesn't? You are going to be limited to the information that circles around that community group. If 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 the information is not in there, you don't have any access to it because you're not networking with people from anywhere else. So that's another way that people shut themselves off. You relate with only what you're familiar with and nothing else. See, the truth is that you already moved your life from whatever country you came from or from nigeria or from whatever where you're coming from that you already moved your life from that place to come to a new place it just means that you are looking to relate with something else other than what you're very familiar with you're looking for life from a different perspective you're looking for life from a different place so why do you now come here and then now build a small bubble and keep yourself inside because really are you people not curious like me i want to learn about the cultures of other people i want to learn about other countries there are some countries i'd never heard of in, in my life it was when i came here i met people okay where are you from and they called the name of country i'm like wait what where is that and i'm learning about those people now i know things about countries that i may never ever visit but i know about those places if you're closing yourself off from this information how will you know if you're closing yourself off from this information how will you ever learn and if you have children are you thinking about what would what that would do to your children they are not mixing with children from other places they are not mixing all they know is children that look like them they will never really really learn what it means to be open-minded to be inclusive to embrace all cultures embrace all people if Canada was that close-minded we will not be welcome here Canada is fast becoming a multicultural very diverse country people are coming from all over the world to migrate here so before long the world is practically represented here in a way right so if you close yourself off you're closing yourself to a whole other world that you would never ever know about so yeah for your own good it is better that you're open-minded for your own good it is better that you're able to open up your heart and learn things not be too proud to unlearn things not be humble yourself enough to be able to learn from people regardless of who it is so how how can you break this how can you stop doing this how can you be a little more open-minded the truth is it can be very very intimidating when you come to this place it can be very intimidating to learn about life all over again in a way it can be very int intimidating but the onus is on me as the newcomer the onus is on you as the newcomer to make the effort 
the onus is going to be on you to learn things be curious ask questions oh hey where are you from start off conversations where you meet people i've talked about this in my um, video on how to make friends if you haven't seen that i'm going to link it in the description box below be intentional and be deliberate about meeting people and learning about their culture don't close off anybody don't write off anybody be open-minded put your biases aside put the prejudice aside and open your hearts to other people that's the truth people talk about okay discrimination and profiling and things like that but we as newcomers we as black people we also have the tendency to be biased towards other cultures we have the tendency to put our prejudice in front and judge people through the eyes of what we have heard or what the media portrays we have been victims of that you do not want to be meting out that same thing that you have been a victim of to another person so keep your heart open so if you open your heart and embrace people there's a lot that you can learn from this place there's a lot of opportunities you can assess and you can never assess them fully if you are not willing to open up your heart if you're not willing to open your mind and really learn what it means to adjust to life in this place not just for yourself but for your children because they're going to go to school and they're going to mix with these people you want your children to be able to contribute to conversation guys it's beautiful to just sit down and watch children from different races different backgrounds mix and play and at that time all they see is human beings there's no there's no divide there's no class disparity nothing it is so beautiful to watch that guys and if you don't if we don't encourage it before long they'll get older and start to copy the patterns of the parents and you don't want your children to become close-minded because you are so open up your heart open your mind this may not seem like a serious thing to you it may not seem like that's not that's not important but it's when you now start going to work and start mixing with people you realize how bad it is you sit at the lunch table with people you don't talk to them you don't relate with them you're on the phone the whole time and then you speak only your native language I've heard stories of people who got fired because of things like that because I mean how unwilling to learn how unwilling to yield can you possibly be Canada is not going to adjust to you guys we are the ones who would adjust to what is obtainable here and the earlier you start to open up your heart to learn those things the better for all of us that's the truth if you now say no it must be the way I've always known it or never you will shortchange yourself again I'm not asking you to lose who you are I am not asking you to lose your nationality or lose your personality because you want to adjust to what's obtainable here. I'm just saying keep your mind open and at the point where you need to make the adjustments, be willing to make those adjustments. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today, guys. I hope you learned something from this. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below or send me an email. My email address is always in the description box of all my videos and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much, guys. Until I see you on the next episode of the series, Common Mistakes Immigrants Make, it is Marina saying thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.